Once the elephants from the forest joined together and went in search of food to another place. While the elephants were traveling, many mice got killed under their feet. So all the mice held a meeting. They decided to meet the head of the elephants to convey their fear and to bring a solution to this problem. The chief of the mice stood in front of the elephants who were walking majestically. Who is blocking our path? If you want to live, run away from here. Sir, don't get angry. You are well known for your bravery throughout the world. I haven't come to disturb your journey by blocking your way. I have come to tell about our fear of death. Many of our group mates died under your feet. So, if you can change the direction of your journey, we will be very happy. Can you please do it? I pity you all. Our aim is not to destroy you all. We don't mind changing our direction. Don't worry. We will not bother you in any way. Thank you. We are very grateful to you. Instead of making fun of us, you have accepted our request. In Britain, we will help you when the need arises. Okay, see you. Come, let's go. Isn't it funny to hear that such tiny mice are going to help gigantic animals like us? One day, as usual, the elephants went to have their bath in the lake. They were caught unexpectedly in the hunter's net. Their trumpeting echoed throughout the forest. On hearing this noise, the mice knew that the elephants were in danger. So all the mice ran towards the direction from where the sound came. The mice understood the suffering of the elephants and bit and tore the net with their sharp teeth and freed the elephants. The elephants thanked the mice for their help by shaking their trunks. The mice sat on the elephant's back and played happily. Once upon a time, there was a royal elephant that used to reside in the premises of the king's palace. The elephant was very dear to the king, so he was scared, well fed and well treated. There was a dog who used to live in the neighborhood of the elephant shed. He was very weak and skinny. He was always fascinated by the smell of the rich sweet rice being fed to the royal elephant. One day, the dog could not resist the aroma of the rice and somehow he sneaked into the elephant's shed. He ate the sweet rice that fell from the elephant's mouth. He liked the rice so much. He started coming daily to eat the rice. For days, the huge elephant didn't notice the small dog as he was busy in enjoying the delicious food. Gradually, the dog became bigger and stronger by eating such rich food. He came under the notice of the elephant. The elephant used to enjoy the company of the dog and started sharing his food with him. Both of them also started sharing time with each other and soon they made good friends. They ate together, slept together and played together. It didn't take long when neither of them was happy without the other. They became great friends and didn't want to get separated from each other. Then. 
One day, a man saw the dog and asked the elephant keeper, I want to buy this dog. What price do you seek for the dog? The elephant keeper didn't own the dog. Still, he sold the dog and extracted some of money out of this deal. The man took the dog to his home village which was quite far away. The king's elephant became very sad after this incident. He missed his friend a lot and started neglecting everything. He didn't want to do anything without his dear friend. So stop eating, drinking and even bathing. Ultimately, the elephant keeper reported this to the king. However, he didn't tell anything about the dog. The king had a wise minister who was known for his understanding of animals. At once, the king asked the minister, Go to the elephant shed and find out the reason for the elephant's condition. The intelligent minister went to the elephant shed and found the elephant very sad. He looked the elephant all over and asked the elephant keeper, There is nothing wrong with this elephant's body. Then why does he look so sad? I think this elephant is grief stricken, possibly due to the loss of a dear friend. Do you know if this elephant shared a close friendship with anyone? There was a dog who used to eat, sleep and play with the elephant. He has been taken by a stranger three days ago. Where is the dog? I don't know. Your Majesty, as per my opinion, the royal elephant is not sick. But he is lonesome without his dear friend, the dog. Do you know where the dog is? Elephant keeper has informed that the stranger took him away and he didn't know about his whereabouts. How can we bring back my elephant's friend and make him happy again? Your Majesty, make a declaration that whoever has the dog that used to live at the royal elephant's shed will be penalized. Attention everybody! Attention everybody! Whoever has the dog that used to live at the royal elephant's shed will be penalized. This is the king's order. The king did the same and the man who took the dog instantly turned him loose when he heard the proclamation. When the dog was free, he ran back as fast as he could to reach the elephant's shed. The elephant was so delighted to see the dog that he picked his friend with his trunk and made him sit on his head. The dog waved his tail while the elephant's eyes sparkled with happiness. The king was contented to see the happy elephant once again. He also rewarded the minister for his wise judgment. Both the elephant and the dog lived happily ever after. Do you wish to see lot of stories here? Then please subscribe this channel. Along with your friends and family, enjoy all the videos of Magic Box. Magic Box English, a place to learn lot of good things with happiness. Don't forget to subscribe.